So Megan is speaking about, you know, suicidal ideation that she has gone through, as well as bullying, in this CBS interview that has debuted with Harry. Although the press is already biting into it, saying that Harry seems disengaged and bored with Meghan, which I don't believe. She does discuss the royal family, to some extent, because they tried to go there, and she seemed very uncomfortable when that question was asked. She said that she has, you know, barely scraped the surface when it comes to discussing suicidal ideation within the royal family. But of course, she doesn't want anyone to feel the same feelings she did. It only goes to show how bad it really was because you'll never have an idea of how bad it truly was. She was in a very, very bad place mentally, where she wanted to end everything in her life and not be here. She touched on that because the interviewer was trying to address it in a bit of a messy way, to be honest with you. Of course, the UK press are dragging her for it, saying that, you know, she's going on about things, why does she keep speaking, etc. The main momentum of the interview has nothing to do with that. It's about bullying, suicidal ideation, and young people on social media. I don't understand. Her trip to Colombia with Harry is clearly upsetting King Charles. The reports also say King Charles is going to be upset by anything. I don't see King Charles making it for much longer an abrupt thought, but that's what I genuinely believe. To be quite frank, it is what it is. So, it's been announced today by the Daily Mail that, you know, Middleton is taking a holiday, and that she is going to Balmoral, which is, you know, a certain place where she goes. Kate will join Prince William and their three children for a summer getaway at Balmoral this month. It will be the Princess of Wales's longest journey since her cancer diagnosis. I don't understand why they are trying to make this out like she's a martyr. This is her longest journey yet to a place where she's going for a summer getaway. I don't get it. I don't know why they are portraying her this way, a very fragile position for Kate. But Meghan needs to be stripped and walk naked on the streets. It's insane, the disparity between the two. But the title reads, Kate Middleton will join Prince William and their three children for a summer getaway at Balmoral. This is her longest journey. Poor Kate, this is going to be her longest journey for a summer getaway, for another holiday that she's taking not any work engagements, nothing public in that regard, but poor Kate. Her longest journey since her cancer diagnosis is going to Balmoral for a summer getaway. I don't understand that, to be honest with you, eh? I honestly don't. I feel like the press coddles her a lot, in comparison to Megan, but of course, we all know that, to be honest with you. We all know that, indeed. I just don't understand why she's being made to feel like some kind of martyr, and I'm honestly just bemused by it. We'll see what happens with King Charles and his Australia and Samoa tour, which was announced a couple of weeks ago. We know that when King Charles goes on these tours, it's an absolute mess. The man doesn't even know what he's doing. He goes on these tours, Kenya was an absolute mess. Then the last one in these islands, you know, there were terror threats, so he and Camilla were facing danger in some capacity.